Hi, my name is Tiffany Zhang. I am the service engineer from SMA Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up zero export with cluster controller and SMA energy meter. Before we start, please make sure both the cluster controller and the inverter has the latest firmware. Now let's go through the connection of all the devices. Connect the inverter and SMA energy meter to the X9 or X10 terminal on the cluster controller. Connect the cluster controller to the network via X13 or X14 terminal. Then connect your computer to the same network. On the cluster controller's display, you can find the IP address of it under external communication. Open your browser and type in the IP address of the cluster controller. Now we have access to the cluster controller interface. We need to log in as the installer with password 1111. After we log in, we need to click on the cluster controller on the left hand side and then go to Grid Management Service. The first thing to set is the general settings. Click on Edit to set the total system power to user defined. For our system, we have a 17 kilowatt inverter, so I'll type in 17,000. And since we also have an energy meter in the system, it will be an closed loop control under the um, operating mode. So set to closed loop control and click on save. The next step we need to specify there is energy meter in the system. So we go to settings, scroll down, go to grid connection, click on edit. Source of system active power, we can set it to SMA energy meter and click on save. The next step, we need to specify this is a zero export system. So we go to grid management service again. The second tab, active power, we click on edit and select menu specification and set active power to zero and click on save. The next step requires grid guard code. So we can print in the grid guard code here at the right bottom corner, click on this icon and type in the grid guard code. Uh, we can see this icon here. That means the grid guard code has been accepted. We will be able to change all the settings. And click on the name of my plant and go to settings. We need to look for the tab um, system and device control. We scroll down to the bottom and click on edit. Sometimes if you can't edit, we need to click on different tab first and go back to the tab that we want. And then click on edit again. Now they become editable. The first parameter we need to change is the configuration of feeding management. Grid disconnection for 0% feeding. We need to set this one to no. And operating mode active power. We need to set this one to active power limb by PV system control. The second parameter we need to set is the speed control, as in how quick the class controller controls the inverter, which is at the tab inverter at the very top. On the active power gradient, we need to set this one to 200. OK. The last parameter we need to set is the fallback on the active power limitation by PV system control and set the operating mode to use fallback settings and set the fallback active power to zero, which means if the inverter loses communication to the energy meter or the class controller, after one minute, it will go to fallback and produce zero power. If you want the response time to be shorter, we can put a smaller figure here, for example, 0 0.1. Because this is a German software, we actually need to put in 0, 0,1. 
and then click on save. Now we can go back to the fallback parameter again to confirm that the time has been set to 6 seconds. The, the shortest time period you can set is 5 seconds. Now the setup has been completed. Thanks for watching this tech tip on setting up zero export with cluster controller and SMA energy meter. My name is Tiffany. See you next time. Mm -hmm.